Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What, what, what? Love and not hate. Come on. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Hey YouTube fam, what's up? This your boy Ray Mac from Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Before we get started in the video, I need you guys to go check out www.spangspices.com. I use these products all the time in my video. And I'm telling you y'all, you will love these products, I guarantee. What we're going to do today y'all, we're going to do with some of the best oven baked pot roast ever. All right, so this is what we've got, two pot roasts. And I also got a bowl that I'm gonna mix all these ingredients in. So here are the ingredients. I have some beefy onion Lipton soup mix. We're gonna add this to the bowl, all right? So once we've added this to the bowl, we're gonna add um, our next ingredient. And that's gonna be some of this here, garlic and onion um, spice blend. And I got this from Ross. Y'all know Ross is the boss. I love Ross products. The next thing that we're gonna add into this here is some black pepper, all right? Black pepper make this recipe nice, y'all. Anytime you add black pepper to your pot roast, it's gonna set it off for real, for real. All right, so the next ingredients we have, some Nora's beef flavoring. You got to have this, y'all. This is a must that you use the Nora's beef flavoring. If you're not using it, something ain't right. The next ingredients is gonna be some of this here, all-in-one Spain spices seasoning. I love this stuff. I love everything Spain Spices produce. I'm telling you right now. All right. The next ingredients, we're going to add some of this here. Um, spicy seasoning from Spain Spices. www.spainspices.com. Go check them out. I'm telling you. All right. Our next ingredients um, is no ingredients. We're just going to mix everything up right now. All right. Then we're going to go to the next step. <laughs> So we got us some turkey bags, all right? I want you to take your turkey bag, open up your turkey bag, and then I want you to go ahead and take you at least two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, all right? Open it up and take two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and just put it inside that bag and start shaking it up. This is gonna keep um, the bags from, from sticking to the meat. It's gonna definitely help um, keep it from sticking to the meat and it's going to help thicken up that gravy as well. Now I want you to go ahead and take you one onion and slice that onion up all right so we got our meat already in, inside the bag now we're going to cut this onion up and we're going to toss this in the bag as well now i want you to go ahead and incorporate all your seasonings inside the bag and the next thing i want you to do i want you to go ahead and get you some beef broth all right and I want you to take at least one cup of beef broth. It don't look like I put in um, a cup of beef broth in, in this bag, but trust and believe me. Take one cup of beef broth and toss it inside the bag. And then I want you to go ahead and work this thing around. Move everything around and we're gonna go ahead and seal this bag up and prepare it for the other. <laughs>
Now I want you to go ahead and put this in the oven at 350 degrees. We want to go ahead and cook this for at least around about two hours or more until it is fork tender. Once your meat is fork tender, it's ready to serve up and you can serve it any way you like, whether it be on some mashed potatoes, some rice, even in a beef po' boy sandwich. I don't care how you do it. You can just eat it by itself. It's still going to be good. So try this recipe and I guarantee you, you're going to definitely love, love, love this recipe, y'all. All right. And don't go nowhere. Continue to watch this video because it's going to be something fantastic at the end. Trust me. Right, please give this recipe a try. I believe you will like it. I'd like to say thank you so much for watching this here video. If you like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click on my picture. Also, watch these videos. I would greatly appreciate it. Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. Peace.